Yo, self-proclaimed sage of the glaive here. Welcome to my attack boost build video. Uh, today's agenda is that I'm going to go over my stats and then I'm going to go over each piece that I have on pretty much and what I need to get them. Next, we'll go over the talisman and then the jewels. Then we'll look on what alternative you can use as possible substitution for this build. And lastly, what plans and changes I may want to change for the future of this current build. Alright, so this is the more of a high rank build since I got to HR uh, 7. And these are my stats. Attack, 234. Element, none. Affinity, 56%, which is your crit rate. Uh, defense, 431. Fire resistance, 17. Ice resistance, negative 2. And Dragon resistance, negative 1. Um, the most important thing is to have Diving Wyvern here just so you can do uh, quite a bit of damage. And tiers are my skills. Uh, I'm gonna go to here, this view here. What I have is attack boost level seven because this is attack boost build. This give me attack plus ten percent and bonus ten. Then we also have defense uh, level five, which gives me eight percent defense and a bonus of twenty defense and all elemental resistance plus three. Then we got stun resistance, which gives me immunity to stun. Which is nice in case you like you're finding Norwal or something, and then <laughs> you keep getting hit for some apparent reason. Um, it's just like a, a nice thing to not have to deal with that. Then speed sharpening, you'll see in a, in in a second uh, why that's a good thing. But speed sharpening allows three cycles, so actually just doing one cycle, and then your your weapon is already sharpened. Then we got critical boost two, which affinity plus ten. Then critical boost two, which allows you to do. Uh, increased damage of 35% when you do a crit. I think the the base is 25, so you get another 35 on top. Then we got Slugger, which gives you stun power plus 30% to stun the enemy. I mean the monster, I guess. And Paralysis Resistant, 60% uh, duration reduced. Part Breaker allows you to do 20% more damage on parts. Latent Power is that when it's active, increases the affinity by 10 and reduces your stamina depletion by 30%. And then windproof just negates minor wind pressure. All right. So the important thing is to for the attack boost, the speed sharpening, and then you have the critical eye and critical bone boost. Those are the ones that actually deal the damage. So let's get into my equipment. Let's start with the pants. We have Raja's pants here, golden Hakama. Uh, to be honest, these pants look freaking bomb. So I'm wearing them, and I try to build around that after I max out my attack but it is a very good pant because of the critical boost level 2 here and then the extra latent power but it also gives jewel 1 slots uh, two of them actually of two jewel 1 slots and all these forged materials you get from Raja uh, let's go to the Raffalos helmet and Mayo that's what I'm wearing right now um, these give two jewel one slots and attack boost one and part breaker one um, you get most of these materials from raffalo except the fire cell stone you can get from lava caverns by going to the mining outcrops we have Raff raffalo's mayo here which is one jewel one slot and they also give attack boost and part breaker on addition it gives windproof all of this forging materials you can get from raffalo's then we have anja uh, arms which give level 2 slugger and attack level 2 attack boost and it gives one jewel one slot um, you can the first two are obviously you get to Anja Inferno you can also get from Anja and Raffalos since you gotta do it anyways and the fire cell stone the same thing then we have this coil which gives attack boost level 2 um, the Anja stuff you get from Anja, and then the monster heartbone I believe you get from the Samacan, which is that monster with the, the purple fins that kind of lays around like an otter. <laughs> but this gives one jewel two slot and two jewel one slots. The jewel two slot is what makes it very good. Uh, but yeah, that's my armor set. As for a weapon, I have a main weapon. Obviously, I'm going to try to build for butter, other weapons, but my main weapon is the Nagakuga one. So you start from this tree, right? You get 
Um, you get these iron ore, this one masculine ore, and then um, the rhino. I don't even know how to pronounce it. The shell right here. Um, they're they're actually from the sandy plains and the lava cavern. It's kind of the one that looks like kind of like rhinos or triteris hops. Then you're gonna make your way down Nargakuga. Um, and then you have Dragonite Ores. I'm pretty sure there's a lot of videos regarding the ores, so you can go look at that. Um, a lot of this is not, just kill Narukuga a few times, right? These all three are also from Nar Narukuga. Uh, this one has the Narukuga, but also Arachna, which is the giant spider one. <laughs> spider box, so you're gonna have to get those. But yeah, this weapon give a, a level 2 jewel slot. So that's nice. That's that's very good. A <laughs> top of that forty percent, and of course, obviously, you need a lot of Narukuga parts here for this weapon. And here we have my talisman. I'm using speed sharpening here, so I don't have to use speed sharpening in my jewels. But of course, you can do vice versa however you want. Um, it just came like this RNG, and it's one of my better ones. It's a rare T7. It has a jewel two slot and then a jewel one slot, so that's what makes it nice. All right, jewel time. So of course you want that attack jewel that goes in the jewel two slot. Um, I recommend the weapon that I'm using right now, which is the Nagakuga one. If you don't, um, you can put it in the, the engine coil here. It has a jewel two slot, and then all the other jewel two slots that you have just put critical eye, so you can increase your crit because you have critical boost. So you want to crit more often, so you can do the extra damage. The, the next important thing is for your jewel one slot is that you want grinder. Because for, especially if you have the weapon that I'm using, you want to have to, you have white sharpness. And while you're in white sharpness, you actually get a 32% damage boost. Um, I can go over the sharpness right now. Blue, you know, the weapon when you're blue is 20% boost. Green is 5% boost. Yellow is just neutral, 1%. I mean, 100. Uh, orange, you actually get a minus 25 and then red, you're minus 50. So you're doing 50% damage. So having three uh, speed sharpening, this actually gives you speed sharpening. It allows you to only just do it super quickly and you get back into white. Um, uh, I'm gonna explain why you can give this flexibility. For my build, you don't actually need this talisman, of course, because I got lucky with this speed sharpener. I, I, I want it to be better, but now that I have speed sharpener, I can only want once, but um, you'll be able to just take out some of these defense boosts and then you can just fill it in with the speed, speed fad. I, the defense boost is just filler to make things your life easier. Same thing with the step fast um, is for stun resistance. Um, it allows you to get, at least you can make more mistakes or whatever. But it just makes your, your build a lot easier since you don't have a guard. You'll be in the air if you get hit all the time, whatever. It's just to make your life easier, okay? But that is pretty much the basics of my jewels. Depending on what the stuff you have, you can kind of build around that. All right, alternatives that you can use. You can use the bar off's helmet. It gives you attack boost and defense boost. Um, one of the, and it gives you jewel two slot, which the other one doesn't. One of the reasons why I didn't pick this is because I didn't like the way it looks. And uh, secondly, it has like less defense and resistance. Um, next we can go with the duper helmet which gives dragon attack and attack boost and heroic so if, for sure if I'm running a dragon weapon I would totally use this over the current one that I have because it also gives you um, two jewel slots um, but it also gives less defense so I just kind of went with the other one because it gives you like more defensive stuff but you can totally go with this I'll probably go with this for sure if I'm running dragon Next we have Zin Ogre's helmet, but this doesn't give attack, it gives weakness exploit, which is super good because it gives you extra affinity, which will help you with your critical boost. Um, if you are using this, you have to compensate with another attack jewel to try to get that to the 7. But this is uh, one of the alternatives that a lot of people like to use. They like to use this helmet, I might go for this later, depending on what I got. But um, another alternative is using Zin Ogre's Mail as well because of the weakness exploit. So same reason as the helmet. So if you do this, you're going to have to just compensate. 
Um, but we also have, let's see if we can get which one that I go first. Hunter! The Hunter one gives attack boost and handicraft. Handicraft is good um, if, if if you're not using Nerakuga's weapon. If you're using it, it's useless because Nerakuga is already max whiteness. That's the, the highest it can go for sharpness. So if you're, not, if you're using a different weapon, you can totally go for this. And we have the baggy armor, which is a nice alternative, but I would think it's only worth it if you're using ice attack because everything's kind of the same. It can definitely give you less defense. <laughs> Then we have the coils. Let's just go to the Raffalo's coil. All the way kind of down. Oh, actually we go Duper coil first. Just give a dual two slot and it give dragon attack and attack boost, which is nice, especially if you're going dragon. Um, but the reason why I didn't pick this is because it didn't have the extra two dual one slots to give the flexibility. So, that's the pretty much the main reason. Same thing with the Raffalos. It's kind of the same thing. It gives more defense than um, Duper's one, but but it it only has one dual two slot. But this also gives windproof. But yeah, those are alternatives that you can use for armor, in my opinion. Let me know if I miss anything. I forgot to mention that I am using the Hunting Petal Lace. <laughs> This is the most balanced one. Um, you can use whichever one you want, to be honest. Uh, but for the talisman, though, I could kind of try to aim for either critical eye or attack boost or speed sharpening or weakness exploit. Um, so whichever the RNG gives you, um, and then whatever it doesn't give you, you kind of compensate. Uh, you do want to do speed sharpening, especially if you have the Narukuga's weapon. And uh, you want to go for attack if you can to compensate if you're going for one of the especially the alternative ones um critical is just nice but we did exploit is where i kind of want to go so um we're just gonna segue into my plans um i do want to try to get we need exploit and speed sharpening if i can on here um if not if i get attack here then i'll probably switch to zin ogre's helmet or armor depending on how i feel and um because then I can also take away a critical eye because the critical eye gives you, I believe, only 5%, right, for level 1. While if you have uh, weakness exploit, which hits often, I, I see it so often. So if you don't know, the weakness exploit is when the, the yellow numbers show up when you're attacking the enemy. Um, that that is That means you're hitting the weakness. Because... And then if you actually see the a red slash, uh, maybe I can show you later uh, and try to explain it. But if you see the red slash while you're hitting, it's, it's kind of subtle, but that means you crit. <laughs> but yeah, you get more crit when you hit the, the weakness spot. It's 15% and it goes up to 50 for level 3. While this can go up more, but then takes up way more slots. So... So yeah, that's what I try to want to do. I want to try to get weakness exploits to, get, to compensate for that crit. Um, because right now I have four, 56 or something. So that is my future plan. Um, depending what RNG gives me, um, Talisman Grind is real. That's like the kind of the real end game. But anyways, um, that's enough of that. So let's just go into the gameplay and stuff. And I'll just show you like the the battles. All right. Um, I forgot to mention what Kinsec I'm using. I'm using the speed type because I just want to hit quick and come back so I can get, get the buffs as quick as possible. Um, I, I kind of miss often sometimes, right? And I just want to get those like buff as quick as I can so I can just get back in the air and do more damage. So, you see those red slashes right there? Those are crits. Um, and if they're not... <laughs> and they're those white numbers, those are like the... 721 damage, right? <laughs> so the yellow numbers that you see and the white numbers that you see, the white ones are like non weakness right like like the shower or something but if i hit like their weakness areas they get yellow those are the yellow damage right i i don't even have max sharpness right now it's 700 so you can just quickly just put the sharpness it's one slash and you're ready done back to white which would makes it great and quick so um yeah i'll slow down the clips here and then you can see exactly like the rest slashes like those are not rest lashes. The rest lashes right there. 
And yeah, so we're gonna show some clips as well with like some of the battles I've been doing. Alright, I can't I can't seem to hit this face, so I'm just gonna hit it with this. Don't look at me, don't look at me, don't look at me, don't look at me. Stop! Damn it. Running away already? Oh my god. This might be the last hunt, guys. Actually. As well. Oh. Damn. That thing is hitting it in the face. Ooh, 3,000. 